Hey guys, what's up? It is Shellshocked158 bringing you a tutorial by viewer request on how to modify and install a new um, HUD, which is um, stands for Heads Up Display, that includes like the health bar monitor, the recharge times for like an Invis watch, um, etc. So, first you're going to want to go into your um, your web browser of choice. For me, it's Firefox. Um, you're going to want to Google WinRAR. Um, go to uh, WinRAR download support. Uh, and for most people, this is what you're going to want to click right here. I will have the direct link to these in the description. This one will be the 32-bit. For me, it would be the 64. Um, I already have uh, the 64 installed, so I do not need to install that. Next, um, Google Garmin HUD. Again, I will have the direct link in the description, so just check that out, and you'll be able to find it super easy, and it'll, it should just be the download file right there. Um, so, But if not, um, Google it, and you'll want to download this file right here. Um, and now, uh, I suggest laying your windows out like this. It'll make it a little easier. You'll get this file. Um, Garmin HUD version 106, but yours may be a little newer than mine, um, depending on when you um, when you try to download install it. Uh, you're going to right-click the file, click Extract here, and this is the portion where you're going to need WinRAR 4. So all you had to do was just go to that link in the description and ins download that and then install it. You'll get this folder right here. So double click it, and here are all the different heads-up displays that Garmin HUD um, puts out to the public. Um, most of them are very small um, variations on each other, uh, like maybe a different color. Um, they're not massive changes between each one of them. Um, but the one I use is this one, this tan light version. So you're going to double click that, and which moves us to our next window which is going to be computer. So you're going to want to go to your hard drive, um, program files x86, scroll down till you find Steam, go to Steam apps, and then right here it'll say whatever your Steam ID is. Mine is Amaster1. So double click on that, go to Team Fortress 2 folder, the TF folder, and here um, you're going to want to go to uh, click on resources on the um, TF directory and program files in your um, so just let you know it's C drive program files steam steam apps whatever your steam ID is TF2 TF and then you're gonna wanna click on resource press control this one's optional but press control and then select scripts right click copy and paste it to some directory that you will um, remember and this is just as a backup just so that if you do not like this heads-up display you can always revert back to the default and it won't be any issue now assuming you've done that um, go into the whichever one you've chosen in this case tan light for me um, select the resources and scripts don't worry about the readme file or the um, large timer you're going to drag these into, make sure you're not on any of these subfolders, but put it into the TF folder itself. You're going to uh, release, it'll say this, say um, do this for all conflicts, yes, and then you'll get another one, say do this for all conflicts, and move and replace. Here, I'll just show you really quick. Um, here it goes, you'd say do this for all conflicts, move and replace. Uh, this I'm going to cancel though because I've already done it um, and then you are done uh, you're just going to want to restart Steam just to be doubly sure and um, launch TF2 and you should be good I hope this helped you out I hope you enjoyed the heads up display and thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day and have fun with this heads up display see you in the next video